I started. All righty. Standing before you all is a colorful sign on an archway. It reads, Welcome to the Sky Region Day Festival. Looking around you, you see other people joining you on this day of fun. You all met the night before at a local pub. You sang, told stories, oh. and just had a good time. <laughs> all of you became quick friends. Do you decide to go to the festival together? Could you please describe what each of you look like? All right. So I will go first because he would go first. <laughs> um, there, there is much to say about Mr. Huckle B. Wild. He is a tall, intimidating human man. Uh, you would easily mistake him for a Goliath being six foot eight and with, oh, a, gosh. with a frame that would put many to shame. But he has a winner's smile. <laughs> Absolute winner's smile. And he is rocking that straw hat that's a little bit too short. His sleeves are ripped off. He has uh, he has these large... Um, the the fantasy equivalent of cargo pants. And <laughs> oh, not with jorts. Yeah, no, no, he is un, he is unfortunately <laughs> not wearing jorts. Um, but he does have his jeggings packed. Oh gosh! Did that just change? Okay. Anywho, um, so he is a. Uh, if there were if there were stories told, it was probably entirely him the entire time, just telling mm -hmm. stories. Uh, he has been to many places and seen many things and escaped death many times, and he insists that everyone call him Captain Wild. <laughs> okay, I like it. Um, if that's it, Eli, you go next. Oh, me. Okay, sorry, I was drawing in Among Us. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh god, what is my name? There's my character sheet. What is sheet. your name? Uh, Arnok is a 20-something-year-old half-orc. He has black short hair, goggles on his forehead, uh, green skin, and a black trench coat covering his weapons. That's kind of what he looks like. He has, like, a light beard, and he's normally, like, Kind of sad looking. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Alright, Bobby, what does your character okay. look like? Uh, my character is Rotner. Uh, he also insists on you calling him Rot for short. I like it. Um, he is a uh, almost six foot half elf. Um, very, very not good at communicating hardly at all. Um, and he's mostly just dressed in darker leather and cloth garments, nothing fancy. I like it. Hannah, will you please describe your character? She is kind of short. She's a half elf. I don't know what the regular height of half elves are. Uh, anything can work. What? Anything will work. <laughs> okay. She's she's not very tall compared, you know, to human standards. Mm -hmm. And um she has brown wavy hair kind of in a bob. Aw. And she is dressed in very uh not not too much frill, like it's mm -hmm. pretty plain. But she does have like a a polka dot scarf. I like it. Kind of a pop of color. Mm -hmm. She looks a little bit bored with the situation, but not not sleepy bored, just kind of bored, but definitely paying attention. Mm -hmm. uh, and her name is Nia. Alrighty. Now the introductions are out of the way. Your ears fill with music as you enter the festival. You see brightly colored banners and tents. You smell mouth-watering food being cooked by the fair vendors. Lining the road is several festival games. And at the end of the road is a big tent with people gathered around. Hundreds of kites soar in the sky as youngsters show off the kites they've been working on for months now. What would you all like to do first? Can't hear music. Uh, you can't hear music? No, I think you need to refresh. I can okay. hear a little bit, but it's very quiet. I will fix. Mm -hmm. um, 
Captain Wild is gravitating towards the food. <laughs> All right, I actually prepared food for this, so I'm going to send it in the chat of the drink and food menu that is being displayed so on each of the venue. <laughs> That's it! I'm just <laughs> excited! I would like is... your finest acorn soup! <laughs> Standing in front of you is a tabaxi, and he looks at you slightly startled. I flash um... in my winter smile. Well, you do seem excited! Yes, indeed! Have an acorn soup, it'll be six comma pieces for you! Web change! I put down two gold pieces. Oh! Um... Yep! <laughs> <laughs> I know the equivalent thing for that. He hands you the... Huh? Do it, Hannah. It's worth it. Dang it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, he hands over the change. Here you go! And he hands over a very nutty smelling soup. And as soon as you smell it, you are filled with like a warmth of comfort. It smells like the breath of the mutant squirrels of the Fey Realm. <laughs> I'll I'll take that as a compliment. Do. <laughs> well, would you like anything else? We have fabulous wine. I will down this soup first. He downs the soup. I didn't think this far. <laughs> Mary. Adventure waits elsewhere! Thank well, you for the soup, kind sir! Thank you for the two gold! Wait, look, yep. He, he takes a bow. And walks away. You find people, is there anything you all want? I'm gonna get some chicken. And a beer. Please. Is that on the menu? The roast fowl. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that fowl works. Fowl is chicken, right? You, he walks over and you see on like a turning spick, just like a bird. It seems like some of the feathers are still slightly like, attached. <laughs> and he pulls it off. One roast fowl for you, young gentleman. I hand over the copper. Thank you very much. And Anyone beer. else? Oh, there's a small beer. And you see him pour it as it throffs and pulls over the cup. There you go. Thank you. Anyone else? Is there any... Is there anywhere in the area to where people can't see? Like, is there a spot where no one could see me if I was to do something? That is a very weird question. <laughs> but he's asking you. Oh, me? <laughs> I'm not asking the vendor. <laughs> I think. <laughs> um, I was in the surrounding area. There's a bunch of different tents, and like, there's some like dark spots in between the tents where you wouldn't be seen. Okay. I want to go into one of the spots, and then with my mask, I'm going to disguise myself as one of the kids playing with a kite. Okay. You do so. And you walk out, and... uh, So, are you describing yourself exactly as one of the kids standing there? Uh, not exactly. I'm okay. Probably, I'm going to say, what, 5 foot, 13 years old? Just... That works. Crazy little random redhead or something like that. Mm -hmm. uh, as then, you can, can yeah, you... and then is there any is there any wealthy is any wealthy groups in the area? Uh, specifically, by one of the festival games, you see a man dressed in more elegant clothes as he's trying to throw a hoop onto a statue, and he seems to be being very aggravated and calling it a scam. Captain Wilde is directly behind the man in line waiting. <laughs> is there anything you want to do, Bobby? There. Um. Yeah, I think I'm gonna. I'm gonna have. I'm gonna go ahead, run up behind him and kind of accidentally bump into him intentionally, and I want to attempt to steal his wallet. Okay, make a uh, sled hand check. Uh, hold up, let me pull it up. Mm -hmm. You said that we all know each other already, right? Yeah, slightly. Yep, you definitely do it. As you bump into him, it causes enough distraction as he's trying to throw the hoop. He misses trying to throw the hoop. He turns around, yells for a bit, but doesn't even notice that you had stolen his wallet. 
Who there, young one? I reach out to grab him. <laughs> you... What are you doing? I had a good thing going here. Um, this would be a grapple check, I think. Okay, yeah. Um, are you, is you trying to resist Bobby? I guess so. It would be a. Yeah. Is it a strength or grapple? It is, isn't it? Strength or uh, so it's acrobatics or athletics. Um, you yeah, you guys, you guys can do athletics. Athletics. Oh, I do does, not grab him. You do not grab him. He slips out of your hand and weasels away. <laughs> I just wanted to know where his parents were. He's reckless <laughs> running around festivals like that. <laughs> um, surrounding you all are a couple games that you see. All, there's the Al Jameer ring toss, which was statues of bunnies with horns with rings being tossed at them. Texa dragon by the tail, which is dragon fairies running around and you have to, people are blindfolded, you see you have to catch them by the tail. There's a gnome poetry contest, a goblin wrestling contest. Uh, guess the number of feathers where you see a bird and you have to guess how many feathers are on it. Or out stare the cyclops where it seems to be a very uh, good um illusion of a cyclops hey uh sarah mm -hmm. real quick can you shoot hannah a um invite link and give her yeah. the character sheet or yep, it... access to it um the car yeah hold on let me just i will get that uh in the meantime i will send the names of the games and what con like thing they do and you guys can pick which one you want to do next or if you want to do any i want to play ring toss Okay. <laughs> Let me get that thing to hit. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. I will I will um try the ring toss. <laughs> Alright. Um as you walk I will up. I'll also go to the ring toss Ooh, just to beat the both bad. of you. I got it. Okay. For this game, there's a statue of Al Jamir. I think that's how you say it. And you have to very simple, you have to toss the ring onto the statue it costs one silver or sorry one copy priest to join um you get two rings mm -hmm. sorry you get three rings you have three shots to get it on the thing one ring on it you get a prize and if you get two you get to roll the prize table again sorry if you get all three on it you get to roll the prize table again okay so i need all of you who are playing to make a dexterity check i did already okay how much did you say it cost um one copper piece they're so, very cheap the Leo. Yep. Oh, I just accidentally turned on lo-fi hip-hop. <laughs> character sheet, yep. Uh, yeah, can you give her access to the character sheet, please? The character sheet you guys made? Yes. Already? Okay. I have access uh, to it, but uh, need it as well. Yep, I got you. I had roll 20 muted. Um, edit. I'm stupid. You silly Anna. dude. I'm a Missing silly dude. Alright, there you go. She should have in her journal now. Alright. Uh, Eli, you missed your first throw. Uh, Bobby, I'm sorry, I don't remember your guys' character names right away. You succeed on the cave throw. You you, you have one ring on. That you go, both have two chances left. Oh, I forgot to ask. What did I get out of that wallet I stole? Oh, um, you got <laughs> four gold pieces and ten silver. I'm a failure. Eli, you missed the second ring toss. You have one ring left. Arnok is looking very sad and disappointed at himself. <laughs> it's, um, the vendor looks at you. It's all right. Not everyone gets it. Best of luck next time. No. Right. I'm going to go ahead and make my second throw. All right. That one does not succeed. Wait, you said three throws? Yep, you get one more. That one definitely does. You got two rings on, so you get to roll the prize table twice. If you had gotten three, you get to roll it three times. Please roll a 1d8. Please, yeah. Use this command. Yeah. Without the period, of course. Technically, I could do it, but... Yeah, there we go. All right, you win a replica unicorn horn filled with candy. Hey, <laughs> Luke, Are if you, you want to try the ring, finish all of that on your own. 
<laughs> That's not an answer! <laughs> no, no, you're not gonna get an answer. I want candy! <laughs> you can... You yes, know, Mia. Here, here. I'll make a deal with you. I'll make a deal. Let's, let's do a deal here. I'll give you all this candy if you can give me, I would say, two pieces of gold. Deal. Sir. I hand him gold. Deal. <laughs> <laughs> for your bank account and your indigestion. Don't do it. Miss Thornbark, it's... That's not my name. You are Miss Thornbark and you will Tumblebark! Not... <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. I... Fine. No deal. But next time, I will earn my own candy. There is more honor in that. Yeah, do that. You, young, you, young, acceptable man, you wish to join. You I am 38. <laughs> old, excitable man, would you wish to join the ring toss? I'm not that old. <laughs> man, would you wish to join the ring toss? Yes, indeed. One copper piece. All right, and a copper piece. Take your throw. It's make a dexterity check. You get three of them. Damn. That one is. <laughs> that one misses, ooh! Cursed horned rabbits from the depths! <laughs> Bad luck, but you get to spin the prize table at least once. Actually, wait, hold on. Let me look at the rules that I have set out. Uh... Nope, you don't get the prize. You only got one ring on. Try it again next time. Nice try, Captain. I have been bested! However, I never surrender! Another! <laughs> One more copper piece! Yes, right away! <laughs> what did you say your character's name was, Luke? Oh! Uh, he is Captain Huckle B. Wild. Nice try, you Wild. You stumble as you throw this one and crack a little bit of the counter as you go, and the vendor gives you the meanest look. Well, now look what he done! Yes! I have been bested by gravity! <laughs> Goodness gracious, you get two more tries and then you're done. I'm sorry, no more. You broke my counter. Oh, it's bad luck. That one succeeds. And I try once more. I look at him expectantly. No prize for you. Success! Yep, you can try. Very well! Okay. One, two, three. Oh, you guys go you got one toss on. What is this so, DC? Dude, I'm the carnival games are a scam, bro. <laughs> bro. I'm very sad once again. Next luck next time to you. There's other games in the carnival if you wish to try. Scam artist. That is Catch the Dragon by the Tail, Gnome po Poetry Contest, Goblin Wrestling, Guess the Feathers, or I'll steer the Cyclops. I shall prove my prowess! So you don't want me to try to get you a toy? Yes! <laughs> oh yes, young lady setting better. Do we wish to try the ring toss? Yes, please. Alright, step right up! One copper beast. That one succeeds! That one fails. And that one also fails. Better enough next time, young man. Long, young lady. Young man? <laughs> young lady? <laughs> you are a scam artist. Hey. I'm gonna Who's go to towards say? the dragon. Alright. I'm going to go towards the goblins. Um, we will do the dragons first. Just for the sake of going up. So for this game, the character or you are blindfolded as fairy dragons slides around you as they giggle. To catch the fairy dragons, you must succeed on a perception check. If they if you get you get three chances to catch it. If you do not catch it, if you catch if you catch the fairy dragon, you roll the prize table. So you just you just have three chances to catch it. If you don't catch it, it's a st steep check, but you know. Oh, two, three. <clears throat> well, I didn't even explain what you got to do, but that's fine. Oh. <laughs> you failed all of it. You didn't even catch him once. Oh man. <laughs> nice try. How much did it cost? <laughs> One copper piece. Hand it over. I'm gonna be broke by the end of today. Probably. I'll go towards right, the next goblins up as well. Is the goblin wrestling? How? Okay. Would you say your character side is medium? Yes. All right. 
two goblins step out. So here are the rules. All you have to do is defeat two of these goblins. You have to pin them down before they can pin you down. It's going to be a contest of strength. If you win and you pin down both of the goblins, then um, you take and win the prize table. If not, if they pin you down, then oh well, you get nothing. Are you ready? Am I using athletics for this? You are using athletics for this. <laughs> Pound my fist into my open palm. Let's begin! Hold on, DM, realize you didn't get goblin up for athletic. 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 <laughs> Alright, it's okay. Alright, let's go. Alright. Hey, yo. You successfully pinned both of the goblins out as they squirm trying to get free to no avail. Whoa, we have a winner! Congratulations! Spin the wheel on the prize table. And roll a 1d8, please. You get magic paint paint. Magic face paint. Good for uses and gives the wearer the benefit of disguised self for one hour until they choose to end it. So you have magic face paint. Too exquisite. <laughs> Too exquisite? How exquisite! Oh. Out of the many treasures I've found on my journeys, this is one of the greatest. <laughs> I wish to be a clown! <laughs> <laughs> you, you put on the face paint. <laughs> Are you putting it on? Yes. You put it on in a clown thing, and everyone around you is like now gathering around and waiting for performance because the clown has suddenly showed up. <laughs> I, f I start flexing. <laughs> and you hear like oohs and ahs throughout the crowd. And my character is standing in the farthest possible way away from the crowd while still watching him, shaking her head. You hear a kid say, but, dance, but foolish man, I dance! Only. I am not trained in the art of dance, but I will attempt! <laughs> At this point, my character <laughs> takes three steps back. You start doing this weird, like, jiggle thing, and you step on a few feet as the crowd, this cloud, like, slowly starts I'm backing sorry, up. Sorry! <laughs> ah, festivals! What a time to be young! <laughs> Was there any other games you all wish to participate in? I want to guess the number of feathers. Okay. It is going to be an intelligence throw. The way it works is you see a uh, bird sitting there, and you have to guess the number of feathers, and you have to use an intelligence check. You have three guesses. One, two, three. I failed. I'm a failure. Uh, yes. <laughs> 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 This is the worst fair I've ever been to. I'm sorry, you didn't guess any of them right. <laughs> Move on! Can I just pay you to get a prize? How much? Three silver. Yeah, I'll take it. Throw the table. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there it is. Um, you get a wand with eight charges. Use one action to cast the cast one, and it casts Prestidigitation cantrip, and it does not recharge, so you get eight charges of prestidigitation. I don't even know what that spell is. It does effects, like Press. random sensory effects. There it is. Thank you. Mm-hmm. I want to try to catch the dragon by the tail. All right. I forget what voice I had for that lady, so we're just going <laughs> to go with it again. <laughs> you can use Step right oh, up. Okay. What do I have to do? You will be blindfolded, and you have to catch the dragon as it runs and giggles around you. Please make a perception check. And you get three tries. Try again. Oh, you succeed. Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> you successfully caught the dragon with the tail. Goodness gracious, this you were probably the third person today to be able to check, catch this dragon tail. Please, roll the prize table. What the roll, 1d8. Oh. Done, Miss Tumblebark! <laughs> <laughs> R. Time and space. One D eight. I love the sudden shift from the Huckleby Wild to like <laughs> caring husband voice. Uh, you get a toy spider. Use an action to gain the benefit of spider climb spell for one hour. When you use the ability, it turns into a real spider and runs away. So you have a little toy spider that you can get spider climb from. That's cool. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Um, as you guys are continuing and playing in the games, Rot, you get given a little letter and a little kid with really big buck teeth come runs up to you and hands you a letter that says, are you ready to enter the magical world where everything is possible? The magnificent Zenos Conwear the fourth will be bewitching and befuddling the audience <laughs> at three o'clock. <laughs> Only three silver pieces for the adults and free entrance for children. This is not a show you'd wish to miss. Oh yeah, there's no way I'm missing that. And as you guys receive this note, it is getting closer towards three. Would you all like to head over to what it says, uh, location, the biggest tent. And you guys saw this tent when you were walking into the festival. <laughs> sure. I'll head over there. Yeah. I will go. Um, as you enter, you see a person at the front, uh, just holding out their hand, three silver pieces, three silver pieces, three silver pieces, three silver pieces. And uh, the crowd is shuffling and handing them their pieces. I tell him I am a child. <laughs> um... You don't I really am a look child. like a child. Roll a precise surgical check. Can that be intimidation? I'm trying to be very aggressive to him. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Um. That's not great. No. <laughs> That's not great. You really don't look like a child, and I really don't need this attitude right now, man. I just want three silver pieces. Fine. Stupid fair. I have no money. I hand it to him. <laughs> Uh, you scared. are right, Arnok! Did that man just exp extort you? This entire fair has. Uh, no, I'm just <laughs> doing my job. I see! So, extortion is a living! <laughs> yes, if you want to deal with the corrupt system, don't deal with it for me. That is an adventure for later! <laughs> Three silver pieces. I give him the silver <laughs> And Bobby, as your character walks up, oh, a child. All right, you can go in three. <laughs> and, uh, okay, I'm gonna try to remember the names. Nina, is that it? Nia. For Nia. Nia. Hello, young elf. Your silver piece is for you, also. I, I give them to him. All right, as you guys walk in. The large tent is green and yellow striped. Inside, wooden benches have been placed in a semicircle. The tent canvas emits little light, but the interior is illuminated by colorful lanterns. Um, a crowd has already begun finding their seats with excited murmurs. Are you guys going to go find your seats? Are you guys sitting towards the front or the back? Aware there are of my there. height, I go sit. I'm, go I'm going to the back. <laughs> I will go to the back as well. Be with the group. Alrighty. As I see, as I see Rot coming closer to me. The lost child! <laughs> you find your parents, young man! I, I wanna, I'm gonna look you right in the eye, and I'm gonna disguise myself as one of the staff of the building. A humanoid, and it has to be a human. Dark magic! <laughs> <laughs> Are you a cursed wizard here to hurt these people? I I find that quite dull. I I would I would rather rob them blind than hurt them. I mean, oh, you're an extortionist as well. Carry on. <laughs> <laughs> Can you all hear the music? Yes. Yeah. Awesome. Um, the lights dim. As you see Zenos take the stage. Throughout the show, you begin to realize that despite his elegant purple rose, he knows little about magic. However, the wizard with the lizard lacks in magical skills, he makes lizard. up for <laughs> with the wizard lacks in magical skills, he makes up for with the wizard lacks in magical skills, he makes up for in theatrical performance and sleight of hand. It's a lizard Towards the Towards the end of the show, Zenos asks for a volunteer. A young girl with braided hair enters the stage. She tells everyone her name is Elsie. Beaming, Zenos makes an elaborate gesture as he reads a tome, uh, reads from a thick tome. A sudden gust of wind rushes through the tents. All the lanterns are snuffed out. In a flash, the young girl disappears and vanishes through a spinning portal that emits a weak bluish light. Um, Zenos swiftly searches through his spellbook and clears his throat. 
It <laughs> appears I need more brave volunteers from the audience. Anyone volunteer? And everyone's kind of looking around concerned. Wild, you should go up there. Miss Thornbach, Tumblebach, are you all right? Yeah, just uneasy. You up there, sitting in the back! You all look very well equipped. And I'll give you ten silver pieces if you enter this portal and bring that girl back. Twenty. I do not need the money. Ten gold pieces. Each. I really don't need the money. Don't go anywhere near it. Well, what about However, to adventure? This smells of adventure! I'm gonna run up and I'm just gonna jump in as fast as I can. <laughs> Miss Tumblebark, I must. You must not. And he gets up and starts walking towards the portal. I'm hold on, hold on, before you go through like your friend. Um, you made a good choice, let's just say that. And I'm gonna hand you a teleportation scroll so that you can return. And six healing potions just in case anything goes wrong. No need. All I need is this. And I point to my nose. I'll, I'll take a couple healing potions. All right. I grab two. behind you. I suppose. Ten gold each, right? Ten each. gold. F each. Totally, each. totally. You no, murdered a little girl. I didn't murder her. She just went through you a murdered her. portal. I didn't murder her. You can't say that. Each. I'll, I'll see you for slandering. Each. <laughs> One gold piece. No, that's even less than I was going to Two gold piece each. That's still less. And a lot of happy crowd. For all oh. persuasion check. I'm still with it. <laughs> still less than 10 though. <laughs> Roll the persuasion. Hey, not 20. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I'll give you 11 each. It's fine. You seem like very trustworthy people. You seem like you would earn it. Let's just hope you didn't murder that little girl and I go through the portal. Uh, who's taking the teleportation scroll that he's giving? I refuse. I'll take it. Okay, and will you take the rest of the potions too? Sure. Okay, I have a question. Who is the last entering the portal? So, Rot has already gone through. Luke's character, I'm I think. Through next. Yep. And I went through uh, behind him. Oh, I thought I would be right behind. Oh. Wild. It doesn't matter. Just whoever is entering last, it doesn't have to be a person. Then. You hear Xenos' assistant, as you're walking through the portal, you hear Xenos' assistant say, Um, sir, are you sure that was a teleportation scroll? Oh, God. Alright. We might be stuck in here. <laughs> Unearthly magic flows through you as you swirl through space and time in a dark void of nothingness. When you open your eyes, you're sitting in the middle of a forest. The summer shines down on you, and pretty butterflies bob around you. Birds are chirping, and two squirrels chase each other up a tree. I need you guys to make an arcana check. I leap to my feet. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter. You, uh... I didn't roll. I'm dumb. Hannah, or Eri, what was her name? Nia. Nia. <laughs> Nia. Yep, Nia. Um, I'm going to try to memorize these characters. I'm horrible at real life names. Nia okay. Ar Arnok. Ia Wait, what? <laughs> Nia and Arnok, you both notice that you all are in the Feywild. And mm. who has the highest passive perception? I have 13. I have 16. Definitely her. Uh, yeah, I don't got any. I don't know near that. Thank you, Luke. Uh, what, what was it? Sorry, what was the perceptions of everyone? Passive? 13. Well, 16. All right, we'll just say, Nia, you, um, you hear high pitched voices of five pixies that are playing hide and seek nearby. Are you going to talk to the princess? What did you They're say? kind of you see you hear five high pitched voices of five pixies playing hide and seek nearby. Nobody else knows. Oh, I don't know. If I 
I don't think my character would think that was that important. Okay. Wild. He would, she would probably keep listening if she could make out anything. Um, you can hear them kind of, they're, it seems like they're almost hiding from you guys. And they start saying, do you, do you think they're like the girl who came by? I don't know. They could be. Okay. So then at that point I would say, I heard the, uh, what are they? Pixies? Yep. Little pixies. I heard pixies talking about us. The girl came by this way. Pixies. Do they eat flesh? Sir. <laughs> I need to know whether or not to be prepared for battle. Not that I'm never unprepared for battle. And I honk my clown nose. <laughs> <laughs> so, I highly doubt the pixies would be interested in you. I'm, su I'm surprised you heard us. And they kind of walk out. That's honestly a little bit impressive. Um, but the girl we were talking about, we, we saw a girl just like you all. She arrived through the portal about, well, um, two weeks ago. Who? Two weeks? Yeah. Time does not work like that. <laughs> the girl headed towards the green court, which is like east of here. East? Mm -hmm. If you walk along that path uh, yes. over there to the left, and then take a right once you reach the crossroad, you'll arrive at the green court. Thank you. Although, honestly, my personal opinion, don't sh walk off the path, because some of the parts of the forest are kind of not safe. Thank you. Anyway, you why does that, that guy's nose look like that? Don't He's understand. special. I am a clown! <laughs> <laughs> Do you have allergies? No! Oh. You're kind of scary. That's unfortunate! I think he's allergic to, uh, staying in one place for too long. Indeed! It's really bad. <laughs> oh, well... Don't catch it. We're gonna go back to playing hide-and-seek. You all are weird. <laughs> and they hop off back into the bushes. Or they go off back into the bushes. Can I... A successful encounter! <laughs> can I try and look for like it's been two weeks but can I try and look for footprints like uh, small footprints what, yeah what check would that be survival yeah I'll go yeah to make a survival check please. well that would it would be survival for like tracking things so I assume it's the same for looking for footprints um you see a bunch of different footprints on this path but you see hoof prints and different things but you see a pair of very faded in the dust shoes that kind of start going towards the path but it's like it's very dusted off like it's hard to see exactly where they're going but it is going towards the direction the fairies did tell you seems like they probably weren't lying or the pixies well i guess we should start heading that way i agree um i'm gonna give you guys just this intermission time to just if you guys just want to talk to each other and get to know each other better that's fine if not we'll continue on to the green court sir do you want to know a fun fact? Yes. <laughs> There's a theory that elves originated from here, the Feywild. Oh, oh interesting. D did you know we were in the Feywild? <laughs> <laughs> I do know that this is the place that you've wanted to come. I don't think that's a seizure. He like walks over to a tree. And just kind of like falls down on his knees. Oh. This is a fey tree. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm glad you're having a good time, sir. <laughs> I, I, hey, I... You're that extortionist! I say, pointing to Rot. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and scout ahead of you guys. Uh, Why are you here? And what I... happened to Rot? I haven't seen him in a long time. <laughs> He's fun to drink with. Holds his liquor well. How tall is uh the captain? Six foot eight, uh, I think he said. Six foot eight. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna disguise myself identical to him. 
hilarious. Are you wearing the clown makeup? <laughs> I am not. <laughs> Couldn't you tell? Wild. Oh, I am quite beautiful with all these must. Wild's mouth is open. <laughs> <laughs> yes. This must be the magic of the Feywild! Or are you my long lost twin brother? <laughs> Which one is the real wild? Behold! I flex. <laughs> This clown has some very nice muscles. <laughs> That's going in quotes. Behold! I flex. <laughs> I also behold! And I turn around and flex. <laughs> uh, uh. Hmm. Very well. If it is a competition you wish, it is a competition you shall receive! I oh, hold gosh. out my hand. I, I, I want to go find a stump or a fallen log or something and set up an arm wrestling position. Nope, that works. You find a fallen over tree that has been down for a little bit and it's almost a little flat, and that's a perfect location for it. No one impersonates Captain Wild! Alright. Except I your challenge! I if turn I to Nia. I bet five silver on the clown. <laughs> <laughs> Want to take me up on it? The cricket noise continues. <laughs> Play as I zoned out. I, I bet I bet five silver on the clown. Want to take me up on that bet? Sorry, I'm not used to not just listening. <laughs> five silver on the clown. And how bets work is that <laughs> how do bets work? Is that you or the clown? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> but I'm also for the clown. Oh. Can I guess Anna, why are you losing your voice? I'm the one doing the crazy. <laughs> I'm the I'll bet five on the on wild. Wild number two. That works. Um this is just gonna be a I think a base strength check if that works with you guys. A bank right. a base contesting strength check. So uh Bobby, don't do the saving throws. You do the strength, like click on strength at the top left of your um, uh, okay. character. Yeah. <laughs> okay. The man without the clown makeup As slams I start to thing. lose. I would like to rage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. The strength of a wild wells up within me. Oh, oh my gosh! My gosh. <laughs> you slam his hand down the bit of the tree, like cracks as you do. I jump up. What with my was hands that above for? My head. You what? I leap to my feet with my hands above my head. <laughs> Don't never be busted. <laughs> so what are you, about? you literally just bested yourself. I, you, no. I, I, what is the problem? I love this wild dilemma. <laughs> well, I dislike the Feywild. <laughs> I hand the silver over to Neo very sad and begrudgingly. Didn't you win? I looked smugly no, at him. Luke won. Oh, that's right. That's a recommendation right. for the uh, recording name. What's up? A wild encounter. Oh, God. <laughs> that's a good one. Wild is Dude, the main character. He has two main character energy. I don't know Hi. what I was expecting for you guys to talk to each other. All I have written down is players have a chance to talk to each other. I don't know what I was expecting. <laughs> it was not that. You're telling me it wasn't an arm wrestling with a bed on it? No, not at all. <laughs> Where one um, character basically arm wrestles his twin? D&D &D is a beautiful thing. I'm going to be bankrupt after today. 
If you continue so on money. the road and you get to a fork in the road, going left and right. Uh, did they tell us which way to go? <laughs> yes, we... they did. <laughs> uh, I would, I would, I would like to change my disguise to a wood elf, and then I would like to scout ahead on the right path. The right path. As you continue down, this path is a lot more like worn like a lot of people, more people walk down and as you are looking ahead towards that path you see an opening and like like a glow uh, uh like a a glade oh it's a glade and like music and stuff is coming from it who is the okay, strange check for footprints? uh yeah um you see all sorts of assortment of footprints uh, including those which seems to be common boots okay yeah. I'll continue down to the glaze alone. <laughs> what are the rest of you doing? Can I try and check for the small tracks again? Wild uh, is just sitting there, tapping his foot, looking around. <laughs> where did rock go? Make an a, either a nature check or an investigation check. Huh? If you want to check for footprints. I'm trying to find. I'm blind. Same. Nature okay. or invest? I have one in both. This is not going to go well. This is so sad. You see footprints. Yay. <laughs> there certainly are footprints here. <laughs> uh, the the fork in the road is marked as one is saying. Um, Remember left. One of the one the 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 signs pointing left. It's like like really scratched. But you can make out like um, L and like E. But the other one is less scratched, but still there. And it says something like um, green ort. They said green something. We should go to the green. Um, are there any animals around? Um, yeah, there's a flurry of just a bunch of different animals running about. Squirrels, um, little critters in birds, little critters in the leaves. Okay, I want to ask the maybe a a bird. All uh, right. I want to use my what's it called? <laughs> I speak with animals. Mm -hmm. Um, what are you saying to the bird? Um, wait, how do I do it with the ritual? Yeah. So you just sit down and take ten minutes to cast it slower. Oh. Okay. Um <clears throat> I ask the bird if the bird has seen a small girl with two braids and what are her other qualities? <laughs> She's a small uh, girl with two with brown hair and two long braids. Human. H human. Okay. Girl braids. Um, two weeks. That path. And it kind of nudges its head towards the right path. Okay. Uh, can I ask it where it last saw her? Um, in there. And like it again points to the right. Okay. Queen. Queen lives with Queen. Okay. Thank you, little bird. Thank you, too. She's I speaking to a bird. I don't know how to, what that means. Like, Sorry, I didn't I didn't know how to do the bird because he's so, like, lower intelligence. I was trying to figure out how to do yeah. And doing that saves all of your resources. Did I do that? Do you want to do that? Sure, I don't know. I don't know how this works. <laughs> I only cast three spells total. But if you do that as a ritual, then you don't need to. The next spend a spell slot. Then yeah. I guess I will. Okay. Or will have done that. All right. Awesome. Wild. Are you guys going towards the right? Does she think she can speak to birds? I'm worried about her. <laughs> the bird said we need to go down the right path and that the girl lives with a queen that lives down there. I don't know if I trust the voices in your head. Miss Tumblebuck! What? Is there a queen? 
Sir, you're wearing a clown nose, and I'm the one you're worried about? I won this in a contest of strength! I won the bird talking to me with a ritual. Let's go. Let's just... He just stares blankly. <laughs> okay. I start walking down the green path. The Alrighty. path to the green. Mm -hmm. um, can, I, can I check for traps near the entrance of the open area? Yep. Uh, make a perception check. Or an investigation check. One of your choice. I thought like both would work here. Investigation. Oh, yeah. Um, you don't discover any traps. No play. Okay, All right. I'm just gonna wait for the group then. As you guys... Okay, hold on. Um, once you arrive at the green court, you see a forest glade filled with whimsical gazebos and sparkling fountains. Over 50 satyrs, centaurs, and pixies sit on the grass. In the middle of the group, on a mound of pillows, is Elsie. She wears an enormous pink gown with puffed sleeves. Two fluttering pixies are braiding her hair while Elsie eats a large slice of strawberry cake overflowing with whipped cream. A beautiful Aldrian elf with silver hair sits on a pearl-studded throne nearby and watches Elsie with an amused smile. Sing for us again, little one, one of the satyrs says. Yes, please, a pixie begs. I'll put more enchanted flowers in your hair. All right, then. Elsie puts down her cake and all the fake creatures listen as Elsie sings an old nursery rhyme. Even though her singing is somewhat off-key, everyone cheers and applauds loudly when she finishes. The Eldrin on the throne notice you all and says, Welcome. I am Queen Sylvia of the Green Court, a minor monarch in the Feywild. What brings you all here? Your Majesty! I bow. <laughs> I, I'll go with him She's and bow She's just up too. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have come her. to thine blessed presence with a request. She gets a really big smile on her face. And what is that request? There has been a horrible accident. An a accident. tragedy beyond all else. In the middle of a performance, there was a small girl who looked a lot like that one actually who was abducted <laughs> in the middle by a hole in the sky oh dear we are here to retrieve her or make sure she's okay was that an option i'm just here to be on an adventure <laughs> <laughs> well how long ago did she go missing Apparently, two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Well, time does work slightly different here, and you could be talking about our dear Elsie. And this is a problem because we've all grown attached to Elsie. She is way taken, well taken care of. In fact, Elsie is extremely pampered, pampered, <laughs> and doesn't want to go home. Pampered. What did we want how... an entire circus here instead? Do you know how old she is? She's around, I would say, 12. At least what she's told us. Okay. And Your although... parents are very worried. I did have to put a minor spell on Elsie to stop her moping. But I'm willing to make a trade. Would you like to arm wrestle? N no. <laughs> um, what what everyone... kind of trade do you have in mind? Well, you see, everyone is very fond, fond of Elsie's singing. And we haven't had proper entertainment since the court bogged, as Zalandris was kidnapped by wicked witches. If you can retrieve Zalandris or his magical flute, I will let Elsie return home. This music is very intense for this. <laughs> it is fine. I'll turn down slightly. <laughs> and where would this? that guy be? Well, I must warn you, the three powerful witches that took her, her took him, uh are very powerful. A group of satyrs were sent to retrieve Zalandris, and they haven't returned. But the witches live in Mirkgrove, which is located north of here. Do you wish to accept this trade? I'm good with it. And if you're here for adventure, this is just more adventure. Sorry, one second. <laughs> <laughs> 
This is worth a lot more than just the 10 gold we originally uh, agreed on. If you get our bard back, I will also reward a little. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's done. Here we go, <laughs> I have a quick question today. Yeah, of course. Uh, the potions of healing, they're just basic potions of healing, right? Yes, they are. Okay, just making sure. Where's the bottom? So, what direction was that in again? North! North! North of here. I have no idea where north is. Uh, just your character Wait, probably knows. I, ne I never learned it. No, he, he never learned Your it. Your Majesty! Oh. Arnok never he learned shall it. Retrieve this man slash woman slash flute. That is all I request. No? I wish yep. luck to you all. What? Well, it would be preferable if you rescue Zander, Z Zalanders, but if you must only retrieve the flute, it is acceptable. No catch? No. Okay. <laughs> no, uh, okay. I wish my character squints very hard at her and then backs away. She just smiles. Is she lying? Ooh, can we find out? I would yeah, like I... I would like to check her intentions. Okay, go ahead. Mika cute. Make it hey easy. yo, nice. Um from what you can tell of her mannerisms and the way she's been talking, she seems to be telling the truth. Like you can tell that she's genuinely being truthful, she will let Elsie go as long as you guys get her barred back and it seems that he's got genuinely gone missing and she just wants him back. I have sinned against the oh majesty. <laughs> In what sense? Again. What have you done? How dare I question the intentions of royalty? <laughs> yes, I do agree. We should never be questioned. Indeed. No. We have an adventure to go on. That you do. I wish you luck. May the forest be with you. May the forest I be like with you. That and I don't know why. <laughs> All right. You. She points you towards a path that's heading north, and as you guys continue walking, um. Hold on. Wild. How do you know which way is north? The wild calls to me. It's okay. uncanny, really. Okay. Okay. What was this? Like I would like to determine which way is north using that survival. <laughs> <kind of thing. laughs> you instinctively know immediately that the north is behind her throne. New adventure! I start marching that way. <laughs> I can catch up and follow him. Um. Uh, um. So true. Mia, you instinctively know, and if I will miss an Arcana check, you can. But Nia, instinctively, you know. Oh wait, let me play. You want me to play? Please. Well, I feel like you would just also. <laughs> you would know this. I feel like. Um. You kind of realized from what's happening as you reach the Merc Grove where she said the witches were, um, you realize the witch's wickedness is corrupting the forest. And it is filled with twisted trees and thorny bushes. Eerie cries of strange birds echo in the distance. Okay. Ew. Um. Oh, this is the wrong music. No! Why would this happen to me? Okay, there we go. Um, as you all are walking across this path, I need to change the scenery. I want you all to make a perception check. And also put your character tokens on the board, please. Sai, I have what? alert. I cannot be surprised. Where's perception? That's cool. Please make a perception check. Oh no. I'm so afraid. How do I, get rid of this thing? I don't have a character token. Luke, how do I get rid of this thing? <laughs> it's fine. No. If you don't have a character token, just uh, do like a thing on your character, like a little bar of like a different color or something like that to differentiate between ones you and stuff. 
how do I do that? I think I think I might have to do that. I'll just make you that one red. I do add one to me. This one will be I have blue. a token. <laughs> oh, that's true. <laughs> oh. Oops, I'm dead. So if you click on your character token and then click a little bubble, you can see different colors. So just put that on if you don't have a character token. Um, uh, Bobby, do you know how to bring your character token over? I don't know. Uh, go okay. to your journal. Uh, uh, journal? Okay. Oh, yeah, thank you. Choose a color. Oh, there we go. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Nia is yellow. She's also somewhere. Is She's Wild the, the blue top. guy? So. Yes, Wild is blue. Cool. Yeah. Just. Letting you guys know you're probably coming from uh this direction. Oh, okay. I'll probably be like oh, right beside you... Wild. Mm -hmm. Or like behind. Alright. I would want to be in front. With those perception checks, um uh, Nia and Wild, you both notice a hidden net buried under a thin layer of dirt around right here. A hidden what? A hidden net. Net. Okay. It! There appears to be a trap! Where? <laughs> that's just, that's where you end he your does sentence. Not, he does not specify. Where is oh. that? Oh, okay. I will mark it so y'all will be able okay. to know. It's just ahead. Don't... As soon as you say, Holt, there appears to be... Wait, what layer am I on? Holt, there appears to be a trap. Hold on, make them see before I... Okay, yeah, okay. Why does that look like uh... Matthew Mercer? Who? The satyrs. Uh, <laughs> they they kind of look like them. A group like of a... three satyrs. Hold on. A weird version of them. I got this. Um, <laughs> a group of three satyrs emerge from the woods and attack. Or at least they prepare their attacks. I need you all to roll for initiative. Coolio. They all have red glowing eyes. Could you please make a nature check and then again, yeah, initiative. All of it's nature. Yep. Why <laughs> is your turn orders not getting a raise your initiative not oh. being put on the board? Sorry, I forgot to click mine. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you have to select your character. Then... Oh, hold on. Twelve. Okay, did that work? Uh, oh, my first one worked. Oh well, whatever. <laughs> you can change it to be your higher one. But which one's Bobby so I can add his turn too? He doesn't show up on the turn. <laughs> I think uh, Bobby's he's purple. The, uh, purple one. Bobby's purple. <laughs> Color doesn't show up. I <laughs> know. Uh, I need to reroll. He said, "Do a nature check." No, you. Oh yeah, you got an initiative twenty, so I'm just gonna add that in. Um, okay. but I'm just gonna add you to the turn order, which for some reason I need to move your character over here in order to do so. <laughs> okay, add to turn order, and then I'm gonna edit yours. Where are you? So Hannah and Bobby both got nat 20. Oh, not nat 20s. I'm stupid. Oh, Forgot that's not what you have. 29. That's crazy. <laughs> okay. And then I'm going to do it. Yes? Okay. Okay, good, good, good. Um, combat is never my song suit, so hold with me for a second. And who made all my nature checks? Eli? I got a Hannah. nat 1. Um, I know that there are trees around us. <laughs> uh, Nia and um, uh, Rot, you both realize that their eyes are glowing red because they seem to be under the influence of some dark magic. Ooh. Great. Um, all right. I'm just going to get to them. Okay. We, we, we Gucci. We Gucci. We Gucci. It's time to slay the ruffians. They are going first. This one is attacking you and it's shooting you with a bow attack. Who's it attacking? Whoever's in front. 
It's going to hit you for... What's your armor class, sorry? 15. It is sending you for 5 damage. And these all are walking up. As well as this one. All right, it is Rot's turn. All right. Um, I'd like to move... How, how Can I move to here? I got a uh, speed of 30. Yep, so there's a little ruler on the side, too, that you can see how far. So oh, for sweet. 30. Okay. For you... So for that, I'm gonna... is... I'm going to jump right on top of him then. All right. And I'm going to go at him with a dagger. Oh, ah, dang. Yeah, Ooh. that hits. Not 20. And you got a net 20, so it's still a little damage. And the then dice. for damage. You have to click the word dagger. I did the first time. So that, oh, it's right there. Okay, I see. Yeah. Ooh. Nice. Okay. All right. Minus. Now I think I get two attacks, right? If you're a rogue character and you have multi attack, yes. Yeah. No, as, a, so, as a rogue, you can attack with your offhand, but you can't uh, add your you. dexterity. You can't add your dexterity damage to the second attack because it's your weaker hand. I have no idea how that works, but okay. <laughs> so basically, just whatever, if you do hit, whatever you rolled, subtract five. Oh, subtract. Uh, yeah, for damage. Is that something I would do? I would set up inside the, um... You can, but it's... it's okay, so in, 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 in the damage area, when I have my thing, I have uh, as 1d4 plus 5, and then plus blank plus blank mm -hmm. yeah you that, can that's you correct can take, yes that is correct but for your offhand you would get rid of that five okay music is creepy mm -hmm. also okay um, yeah. so i'll go for that one too you fail yep that, that one does not hit so sad. Um, Luke, I have a question. Yep. Um, I think I was planning on doing this before the session. I decided against it, but now that we're in the combat, I kind of want to do it. How you did your combat last thing was like free, not free action, but everyone works together, right? Yeah. You have one minute to discuss what, what you're going to be doing in your turn, and then the turns go. Yep. Okay. I think we're going to do that because I think it, it makes it a lot fluider. And that, that that's just it's just a funner session i think okay so we are going to do that since bobby just took his turn we're going to let this set uh, this turn order play out like normal and the next turn we're going to implement that mm -hmm. does that go for everyone sure okay um next in the order is nina nina so, one second <laughs> as a bonus act, you can uh, mark one of these guys and do a little more damage to them but that's only as a bonus. I'm sorry, I know nothing, and Luke is trying so to teach get, me everything. You get a bonus <laughs> as, as your action. The bonus action is just trying to teach me everything. Wait, Bobby, did you roll damage for your dagger? Yeah. Not for the second one, no. For the first oh, one, wait. Nine plus eight. So, oh, yeah, because he didn't hit. I'm sorry, I'm stupid. You get a okay. So you can use your bonus to work in your attack. You get the extra. I guess I'll do that because I can't wait for me. So, if you go down to the top. And then hit this? Yes, so. And the next initiative will be you, Eli, so explain what you're gonna do. So you either get one. I am Eli. If you do this one. <laughs> Lilo and Stitch. Uh, for real, for real. If you do this one first, it'll last. One While they're doing that, can you explain to me how the combat works? <laughs> Um, um, both of these very much confuses me. Uh, I can explain it to you because I understand it a little better. Yes, Joel, yep. please. It's basically mostly free form. Uh, basically, the way you do it is you have a minute and you just kind of discuss between everyone what you're going to do. 
or at a and, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So you can then say, you like, just I run up to the goblin and smack it in the face. The last time we did this, it was like a... Like a more... Uh, it, I, I think he was doing it easier for, like, the new players to understand. Okay. That's true. I, okay, I, I well, like, I tried to well, do two attacks and I was dumb. <laughs> well, well, that's what we'll, we'll, after they're done figuring it out, we'll take a vote on what you guys want to do. If we want to continue in our combat, or yeah, I, I get it. I get it now. I think. Okay. No, this is fine. So Last time, I just uh, it, we were doing like something a little different. I was confusion. Yeah. And then to figure out which one they're attacking. Oh, okay. Mm. Right. Click on it. Okay. <laughs> I believe okay, in it. I know how everything works. So, do I do bonus action first? Yes. Okay, so for my bonus action, I'm going to use Hunter's Mark. All right, on which one you targeted? The and this, one right behind the net. To clarify for uh, specifics, um, Hunter's Mark in this context isn't the spell, it's the ability that they gave Rangers in time. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I'm going to use my, for my action, I'm going to shoot him with my bow. Alright, roll for, <laughs> see if it hits. That hits. Yep. Ooh. You, you pull your bow back oh. and it whooshes through the air and it pierces through his leather armor and it sinks him deep as you see him wince and like hold his shoulder where it hit. Alright, next in the order is me. Yay! Okay. I'm going to click my boots together and I'm going to fly above the ground. Oh, wait, uh, I should have seen how far I can go first, actually. Over oh, her. Her. I keep forgetting. Let me make sure that was right. So I fly above the ground over her. Mm -hmm. And uh, 35, I believe I have enough. So I will take my gun out and shoot to this guy. That hits. 100% that hits. 14 damage. Um, are you shooting this one right here? Yeah, that one right here. Has uh, not been gun damaged yet. fires and his eyes widen as he looks down and sees blood is start coming from where it hit. I shoot him in his shoulder. Blood starts pulling out and he looks down in like fear. I believe I have nothing that I can do for a bonus action, so I'm Gucci. Alright, <laughs> wild. You're up. All right, so this is very unsportsmanlike. <laughs> um, so we have this guy, and then is this the one that uh, that's Courtney the one I just shot? K man, K man shot. Yep. Arnok. Arnok. For... Yeah. I knew there was a K in there somewhere. <laughs> and that's the one that Nia shot. Okay. I really hope. My fellow melee character. <laughs> um, and I'm going to run up. Hello! I'm on an adventure! And I'm going to punch him in the nose. <laughs> ah! Very on brain. Roll for it. I'm good working on it. Just a good old Behold. sucker punch. The oh hit. my god. <laughs> <laughs> that hits! All right. So he takes 12 oh points of blood damage. You Ooh. see the utter shock on this man's face because of everything he was expecting you to do. Stinking punching him was not it. <laughs> As my bonus action, I would like to grapple him. Uh, because I have the tavern brawler feet. Is it, is, does he make a strength test against it then still? Yep. All right. Try to ta grapple him. Um, he manages to stand still as you reach for him and try to grab on me, like, swivels away. This is, I'll get him next time. <laughs> All right. Now let's take a vote. Do you guys want to do free form, like, combat, or do you guys continue the standard way? I'm down for free form. Down, down for, for free form? I'm down for whatever. whatever. Okay. Do we will do freeform um basically you all would discuss exactly what you're going to do instead of saying hey what are you doing next now what are you doing now what are you doing now it's everyone discussing immediately what they are doing in that moment and then we do it so what are you all doing you have one minute to decide 
Doesn't it still require like right, actions uh, and bonus actions to do everything as well? Yes, it does. Yeah, yeah, right. it does. Clarifying. Okay, um, well, my plan is to hold this man down and continue to punch him while my friend <laughs> continues to stab him. So yeah, that, that's kind of what I, I, I also, before I start stabbing him, I want to cut the tendons on the back of his leg so he uh, can't uh, run away. Uh, <laughs> All right, I I'll, like I'll, try, I'll try and hold him down so you can do that. Yeah. All right, I'm just going to target the one that I shot before, but because I still have the hunter's mark. Yep. And I will also add the um, Horizon Walker. Yeah, the the extra one, <laughs> the bonus mm-hmm. action. Am I? If I got closer to him, would it be better? It doesn't no. matter. Okay. All right. First, they're going I to go first. I'm going oh, to sorry. travel over here, and then take my musket out and shoot. All right. Smiley face. They all before you all make this rush. The one right here starts playing his pipes. And a gentle mul- lullaby rings out, and Luke, your character, Wild, falls unconscious. Um, uh, I feel like you should. We should have discussed things after they got their turn. No. <laughs> okay. No roll, no nothing. Uh, nope. Did he roll high enough? It is just something they have. They can just do that. But how come only Wild fell? Okay, all right, that's fine. That's fine. Um, what should I call it? Uh, the one closest is going to attack the one with the knife, and he's going to make a short sword attack. Does a yep, that hits. Does a twenty-two hit? And uh, where would I check that? Um, your armor. Oh, yeah. But I'm hits. pretty sure it it's hits. It's 22, oh, yeah. yeah. You're going to take six damage. Six damage. Is there a... I'm cool being unconscious for that one, but just for the future. You're... Okay, Luke, I want you to make a wisdom save. You're correct. My dice roller on stinking uh, roll, uh, 5e tools was covering the wisdom part. Nice. <laughs> Right. The exact section. I do want you to make a save for that, because... Uh, I'm uh, so unconscious. <laughs> yeah, you're so unconscious. Um, All right. Wild is more of a man of brute force, not very much wisdom. Not very much. Good night. Um, the one over here is going to continue to make a short bow attack. It is aiming for... Stinking Mr. Wild, who is unconscious. Since I'm prone, he has disadvantage on the shot. Really? Okay, yep. that's good. I'm guessing an eight does not hit. Nope. All right, he misses his shot. You guys go. I think it was there. Okay. I I'll am roll, going I'll to move over here. Attack. I would like to visualize that interaction as him like going for the <laughs> shot and then Wild falling unconscious and it just whizzing by him. Like bro. <laughs> it's the fence behind me. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I am going to take my musket out. Mm-hmm. And oh, and sorry. Everyone, like roll. Go ahead and roll your attacks that you were going to do. Oh, and I, I'm wow. still attacking for the back of this guy's legs that's right in front of me. Yep. This counts as a straight line, right? Yep, that does. Okay. I would consider that, yeah. I am going to use my musket with my piercing shot, so I get to hit both of them, basically, Good since it's in a straight line. Yep. And that does yep, not that is. fire. I don't think you have your attack set up. And then... I'm not... I'm not sure what 2d20 or 1d20 cs greater than zero means, but that's not a d20 roll. Yeah, the not 20s were interesting, but... This first uh, one I can takes... go in his character sheet and try to fix it real quick. Okay, I'm gonna shoot my little bow again. Boom. Well, make sure he's not dead first. Oh. This well, first wait, one wait. takes six and this one takes 12. So okay, this one give might me be one dead. second. I want to try to fix this real quick. Um, mm-hmm. um mm-hmm. Uh, wh- how is this happening? Okay, and then this one. Okay, so this one's the problem. Ah, the crit range is zero. That's the problem. 
All right. Yep. Yeah, it should be fine now. We're so, going to continue. It's okay. You want me to re-roll? Right. For, you want me to re-roll? No, we'll, we'll, we'll go with it, even though the rolls will still happen, you know. Oh, it's okay. okay. Um, Luke, that shot probably did wake you up. <laughs> um, is this one is dead it? from 12? It's from 12. So, it is not. Wait. And this one takes six. And, uh, okay. A wild fell unconscious, got shot at, and got woke up uh, by the yeah. air whizzing by his head. Exactly. That's exactly what happened. That's hysterical. All right. Um... You hit this one, it he's he falls dead on the ground. You see him as you slice his tendons, and that was just enough. He starts shaking in pain as he just falls over. Which one is that? The oh. one I put an X on. Oh. And then um Nia shot the middle guy. Does right 21 here? damage kill? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, he also falls over. The arrow whizzes past him, hits a direct hit in his forehead as you see him look a slight look of fear across his face before he goes expressionist and falls over. Since that shot woke me up, do I get my turn? Uh, I will say since you're on the ground, it's, it isn't it is an action to stand up, but then you can still go. After your movement. Yep. Oh, your movement. So yeah, you can still have your turn. I will consider that we can have your turn. All right. How are you awaken? I look around. I turn around towards the fence. Uh, is there a rock or a stick or something close by? <laughs> yep, there's a rock and a stick sitting there. All right, I'm grabbing the rock, and I'm moving 15 feet this way mm -hmm. as to not... Actually, you know what? I will carefully avoid the... Yeah, I want to be here. So I will carefully avoid the net. Mm -hmm. And now am I within 20 feet? Screw it. I'm hucking the rock at him. Okay. And well, for that, because, and because is... of Tavern Brawler, I am proficient in improvised weapons. Oh gosh, I was about to say roll for... Yeah, okay, yeah. You're good. <laughs> roll for it. Roll for rock. Which is... Well, isn't there a score for specific improvised weapons? Uh, rock. Because I'm proficient, it's just a d20 plus 7 for me. Yep. Okay, that works. That does not hit. Says. All right. For the sake of it, these guys are going to go. He's going to go first. He's going to look at you all and point out his bow again. He is... So you just try to throw... Actually, this guy just hit him. So he's going to pull out his short bow. Actually, no, he's in what? He's going to run up to him. I am in the and... air. Oh, he's not going to run up to you. He's going to pull all his bow and he's going to try to hit you. Does a tw 20 hits, I'm guessing. Yes. He's going to deal 9 damage. Ouchie. Okay. What are you guys planning on doing? It is your turn. All right. Um. I so, ha have you have y'all heard of football? <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> that what <laughs> okay um if, if for some reason if for some reason he's not dead by the time it's my turn i'm using that 30 feet to charge no 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 uh, we want to keep him alive so we have an idea of where he came from have you ever heard of anybody dying in football no but well, actually, no, it depends on what kind of football we're talking about. Is it American, American football or European football? Because if it's European football, we're trying to lure him into the net. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? That's not anywhere close to what I was thinking, but that's a fun idea. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's happening? I, I vote for put, trying to get him in the net. I mean. I'm on the bunker. <laughs> <laughs> if I, if okay. I unga bunga with a net, I'll do it. <laughs> okay. How, do you, how are we going to get him in the net? <laughs> Brute force. <laughs> <Staring everywhere. laughs> I'm assuming, like, in this <laughs> moment, you guys, in this moment, you guys are just yelling, Net! Throw him in! <laughs> <laughs> All right. You, help him out? Oh, you guys. Wait. I have. I, I thought of this and then. I was thinking to use it to kill him, but we don't want to do that. I will cast Entanglement. 
Are there, Ooh. is he in branches and stuff that could tangle him up? Yeah, there are like different like forest roots below him. Yes, I want them Christ, to entangle you're in him. The Feywild. <laughs> So how do I do that? <laughs> um, oh, in your turn, you will entangle them. Well, but we're not having turns. We're just going, right? Yep. Just, just y'all just go. Whoever wants to go first, okay, I'm pretty so sure. I'm that's cast that. then. All right, cast entanglement. What do I do? Uh, so it's I'm pretty a, sure it's just a. It's a twenty foot cube. He has to, and this can be like the edge of it. Yeah. So he has to make a. I believe it's a deck save. That sounds right. I don't understand what would be a strength save. He makes uh, a dexterity it is a strength save. It is a it strength is? save. I yep. lied. Okay, he he's nope. He rolled a five. I'm guessing a five does not save. No, no, it certainly does not. Uh, <laughs> so he is restrained. He looks down at his feet and like tries to wiggle them, and then looks up like, oh no. <laughs> I smile. All right. I would like to go next. <laughs> go ahead. I reach down and I grab the net. <laughs> okay. You, it wasn't really like, so, oh, are you just yanking it or? What are you doing with the net? This what is very important. Think, what do you think dumb Mr. Huckleby <laughs> Wild is doing with the net? Uh, so I want you to walk over and try to yank the net. <laughs> um, you... Hold on. I have something called danger sense. Uh, if this is something I can see, then I have an advantage on any deck save that I need to make involving this. Okay, 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 okay. That's actually good, but hold on. Do I do I just so happen to notice like a, a tense branch or something? You notice that there is a spring attached to it. Ball! I'm going to tackle him. Okay. Um, strength. Well, he is a disadvantage. It just works. Don't yeah. kill him. Yeah. Nope. Make a strength check. Or yeah, does uh, it? it... Go ahead. Yeah, okay. Um, oh, he doesn't um, get a save on this, right? If he's detained, or he's, you know. No, he. I don't. I don't know. I, I I'd say it makes sense that he doesn't. Yeah, no, because he just can't move. Like, what's he gonna do? <laughs> so I, I, even if it's just house rolls, I don't think he does. I think it just automatically succeeds. You're tackling him. I his tackle ankles. Him. You hear his, as his ankles snap as you tackle him. Because <laughs> his, right. his ankles are very firmly in the ground. <laughs> that man is crippled. <laughs> you hear <laughs> as he I screams out in pain. I tackle him to the ground and place my forearm against his throat. It's too loud! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, anyone else want to do anything? Are you guys continuing to walk over this guy? I don't feel like we're in combat anymore at this point. It's just the poor yeah. guy's just tackle on the ground, broken ankles. Like, we've done to this poor guy. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna move over here. Kind of behind them and just, just watch. I'm gonna point my gun at him, like directly to his forehead. Where did you come from? I'd slowly take my my forearm off of his throat. Um, he immediately starts growling and like trying to bite at you all. Can I roll intimidation for mine? I, I did shoot yeah. him, so he knows what's ah. gonna happen. Yeah, you guys have intimidation. You're on intimidation with advantage. Twenty. Um, he immediately stops growling, but he just looks at you guys and kind of like whimpers and just goes. <laughs> and from what you can tell, at least um, uh, uh, Hannah's character can tell. He, Nina, she, he, he's under some sort of dark magic. You're not sure if he can talk. Don't you fool, talk! Uh, I can detect magic, though, can't I? You could. Would that be helpful? Yeah. You can tell what kind of magic is to cast on as well. Well, I already know that it's bad. 
<laughs> okay, then don't. No. <laughs> <laughs> you? Okay, if, if you guys are gonna wait around, I'd like to start looting bodies. Um, you definitely can. As they're trying to get him to talk, you are walking around looking, you find a bow with ten arrows and two short swords. I'm just slapping the satyr. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't think I'm gonna take talk. the I'm gonna take the bows and the arrows. Okay. Right. Should we? And when I put that, would I put that in my attacks and whatnot, or so if you feel like it? Back? Yep. Okay. If you feel like it, you definitely can. Um. Should I just put him out of his misery? That's up to you. His no. ankles are completely broken. No, we need him. He can't speak to us. It's the magic. Are he you... can't speak? No, he can't speak. Then why am I slapping him? I don't know. Yeah. Are you going to carry him all the way to the witches and back? Um, I'm, I'm, doing doing it is I'm, going, I'm going. I'm going to pick him up. Can and when um, Wild picks him up. I want to look at his expressions and see if he responds to any direction. Okay. Like, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm um, walking him over to the net. Oh, God. Oh. Um, and he starts, like, frantically, like, waving his arms towards the end of the path, like, in the opposite direction of what you guys came from. He's still like a good boy. Uh, no, sir. <laughs> you do, and you hear a whoosh. And how close are you when you throw him on the net? I'm not. I'm not close. Within twenty feet. Oh. <laughs> oh. Why have you done? Twenty-five. I certainly am within twenty feet. <laughs> I'm twenty-five. You hear a whoosh as I need you to make a dexterity save and throw at anyone else who's in that radius of 20 feet. Oh, I'm at 25. <laughs> Let's go. The net was a lot more like hidden under the ground than you all had originally oh, realized. No. Oh no. So who's cutting me out? <laughs> who's um, cutting me out? <laughs> Screw you, you're the one that got us in this mess. Hi, have to admit. There was a little more net than I could chew. Um, hey, hold on, let me see. Shapeshifter, just I'm actually your dagger out, man. Um, uh, blah, 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 blah. rot. You succeed on that. Oh, cool. Well, never mind then. How do you know? You and the stinking satyr are stuck in it as he's like, kind of like clawing at you, like ah. And a little bit like trying to gnaw on your arm. <laughs> hmm. Can I can't you... help but think that um, I'm not using this for the correct purpose. <laughs> I would like to rage. Yep, <laughs> go ahead. And as I rage, as I rage, my hands grow into claws and I rip oh. the net apart. He immediately does so. Like, you don't, uh, well, actually, yeah, well, no, no, no. The, the the splinters of the net basically it, it almost feels like it just completely shatters apart as you and the satyr fall to the ground and it looks like the satyr has like landing. yep the satyr did not make the superhero landing and his wind is knocked out of him as he's sitting there and he like starts just staring at the sky he's not even trying to move with his broken ankles he's just staring I think he'll be fine right there you've broken him <laughs> Well, now he won't move. <laughs> I'm. What comes to worse, he'll simply be food for the ecosystem. And when, oh, when you say God. that, you just ah. <laughs> this poor guy. <laughs> Terrible. Okay, I guess okay, let's go. I think we need to continue down the path. He looked very frantic to get that way. I'm, right. I'm going to spend the time while we're walking to reload my musket and my gun, my pepper box, and drink Okay, are you potion. guys drinking, yeah, you, I was going to say, you guys drinking any health potions or anything? Three, four, 
It's so... not worth it. <laughs> um, yeah, I know. How do you do that? Hey, yo, plus eight. Yep, that's that. That's good. Okay, as you guys continue, um, as you continue on the forest path, and you continue on the forest path until you reach a clearing, and you see, hold on, characters, you see a lopsided hut with a rotting thatched roof in the middle of the forest. It's what do you guys want to do? Doesn't you smell. can. Um, a very disgusting stench seems to be emanating from this track. Uh, I want to cast Detect Magic, please. Ooh, okay. Um, as you do, you realize that there's an alarm spell within 10 feet of the whole hut. Oh, excellent. I'll actually, I wasn't actually planning on being made this loan. It was only for my own use, but, uh, it will now. Okay, so I'm going to warn everybody about this alarm spell. Yep. Um, so just just in the surrounding area, you you guys will you you understand that there's an alarm spell just surrounding it. Okay, is that all I detect? Yep, that's all. Well, yeah, that's all the magic that is casted that you detect. Um, if you want to try to get closer and investigate, you guys can. Hmm. So it's ten foot from the edge of the hut. Yep. So anywhere like this, any ten foot. But you guys can still kind of see within the windows. There are windows jutting out from each side, and a door I'm right gonna here. I'm gonna try and take a peek in. Um, make a perception check for me. Let's go. All right. Inside the hut, you see a jumble of grimy pot, grimy pots, dried herbs, and filth, and three filthy beds. Several disgusting potions are brewing on an oversized stove, and the stench is eye-watering. Only one witch seems to be inside the hut. There's also a three-eyed toad, which seems to be her familiar. They turn the, that bard into a potion. <laughs> the witch is preparing a repulsive potion and wanders between the stove and a wooden rack with drying frog legs, bat wings, and headless birds. An elf is bound with iron manacles and chained to a massive iron stove. He is wearing dirty rags and has a black eye. And every time the hag walks past him, she kicks the elf and he sh and scree screeches at him. Hey guys, these witches are like really evil. I, I think I can probably get a shot off on the one in the hut, if you guys are okay with that. A surprise attack. A surprise I attack. I will jump on the roof and break through. Not yet, not yet. There's an alarm yeah, spell. You don't want to, you don't want to set off an alarm. Let me try and shoot her through the you window first. Me by vertical. No. No. Sir, do not do that. How loudly are you guys talking? We're whispering. Oh, nice. we're, whispering. we're away from the hut a good yeah, way. We're like okay, 30 okay, feet good. away. Which show at the end. Sorry, we're 40 feet away. You ruined the whole element. It's very <laughs> difficult for me to whisper in this voice. <laughs> so don't make me do that. We're, we're under her a whispering moment. Okay, we're all whispering right now. Yep, I got you. Uh, so are, are you guys okay with that plan? Uh, Later and see what yeah. happens. No, let me, let me, um... I, I explained I think... to you what's going on in the HUD as well. I think everybody needs to have a land because once you shoot she'll know where yeah i i want to i can't i want to go into stealth and then kind of go behind the height if possible how would i yeah um you can just stealth behind it you understand that there's a 10 foot like thing on each side as long as you stay from without that and you make a stealth check to understand that you're going around it then you're good so i just need to make a stealth check for me and make sure you're not getting within 10 feet of it Wild. Okay. Whenever I take a yep. shot, how about you jump on the roof? I could also break down the front door. That could work as well. Wait, wait, wait. Nia Let me do something for you guys. You. Let me do something for you guys. Hold on. Nia um, could since, since, in behind since you. you. Since you understand what's inside the hut, I'm just going to do this. Oh, that's sick. Oh, nice. wow. Thank you. And, uh... I'm going to be back there. Layer, token layer, and you see the little fog... And where's the wish? What, so wait, where is she? Nia can follow in behind you 
and also take a shot off at him. At her, Why the witch, I mean. Why just shoot from another window? Well, do you think an arrow can pierce a window and do damage to a witch? Can. Are there actually, like, glass windows, or are they just openings? Um, I would say, just for the sake of it, the one over here is open, letting in the race. And also the stench out. Okay, then you uh, can where, shoot through that where's one. Where's the other, where's the other windows on the building? Right, he, on each, like, corner side, there's a window. Okay. Weren't there supposed to be three witches? Well, if there's an alarm spell, I assume they're out. So they'll probably come back once we kill this witch. Let's have our dead. Unless the get... frog is also yes. a witch, which would seem weird, but you never know. I, I don't know about that. <laughs> I will step on it before it turns back. So are you guys yeah, okay, okay with this plan? Yeah, you yeah, go I ahead and let off the your window. shot. And yeah, if you once you let off your shot, I'll jump through this uh, this back window here. So me and Nia can both shoot through this window. Who are you shooting at? The witch. Okay, and I'll also shoot at the witch. Might we as well. Want her dead. We okay. need her dead. Let's so, do it. Is this or... within ten feet? Okay, I'll move right here then. Oh, do I need to move my little person? Hold on. Yeah. Hold on, I need to put my little girl. Well, that's not like... <laughs> this is... This is a... There we go. That's your character. I'm... Oh. So... Why <laughs> Okay. Yeah, now grab the floor. Mm -hmm. Make her yellow. Oh, I'm watching. Well, All I'm right. going to take my musket out of my bag of holding again. Wait, why are you over in my corner? Eli. This is where we can shoot through the window. Yeah, but oh, we're both gonna shoot through the same window. Yep. Yeah, this is the only open okay. one, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I just, I just have the. Window. I was confused. Yeah. I... Uh, Sarah, do you want us to go ahead and roll for initiative? Uh, yeah, actually, I do. Let me clear the initiative real quick. All right, please go ahead and roll. Is select your character tokens before you roll. Night. Oh, where did the initiative go? Yeah. Once everyone's ready, I'm going to shoot. It's fine, I'll enter Wolby's for him. Bringing up the rear again. Rest in peace. I think that's where you were. I'm 21. Hurt bad. Alrighty. Ooh, that's not a great initiative, my dude. Let that's me roll 21. for it. Um, rock. Does. No. Did He's he not? 13. Oh, I'm sorry. I looked at the stealth roll. My bad. <laughs> okay, let's read you this. I okay. assume we're all good with the plan, so I'm gonna go ahead and shoot. Nia, shoot right after me, please. Okay. Oh, yes, I will do that. Should I do this? For the sake right, of everything, we're hits. shooting at the same time. 16. Okay. Uh, th this is a surprise attack, so they should yep. all get advantage on this. Yep, you guys do. Okay, I'm using my hunter's mark and my bow. You see? Eight. Oh, wow. gosh. You guys are not missing. So that's... Oh, so it's a 12, right? 28 yeah. damage. Sheesh. No, <laughs> oh, yeah. 28 damage. Total... Is anyone doing anything else in this immediate moment? When... Yeah, we had a plan. As... The As in they shot, I uh, jump in the window right there, and if the witch is still alive, I'm gonna throw a dagger at her. Please make an acrobatics check. Or athletics, either one. Uh, let's go As you try to jump through this window. That would be acrobatics. Yeah. Yep, you successfully jump through the window. It smashes. The glass wasn't too thick, and you jump through. Alright, I'm gonna throw my dagger. Well, is she dead? She is not. Yeah, is she, she's not? Okay, yeah, I'm throwing my dagger. She ain't going down to 28. <laughs> Does that hit? Oh, um, rip. yes. Um, wait. Oh, that he has not. advantage. But he has Surprise. a Yep. Make it, make it a roll again. No, make that no he already... Oh, the 20. They're not, the 20. Oh, yep, that hits. Okay. Maybe. A roll for damage. This is the definition of sneak Don't attack, be. so throw a d6 on that. <laughs> yeah, oh, true. so true. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We're level 4. He gets 2d6 for sneak. Oh my gosh! <laughs> so, do... 
Do that Man? command, Bobby. Yeah, yeah, you get sneak attack on this. Copy and pasta that command. Dang. One more. Nice. nice. Another 18 damage. <laughs> I want to charge through the door. Yep. Let's go wild. That's what I was going to do. Because he got 8 damage from his normal, and then another... So, 16. 16 damage. Another 16. Okay. I break through the door, and using all my movement, I run over to the frog, I grab it, <laughs> and I want to throw it in the pot. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, familiar. okay. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, there's two pots in the room. There's this one, and this one over here. Which one the is Bubba? The the in a bar fight. This one. The where the wet hag is standing. Um, or the witch. Ah, rip. We just need his flute. Yeah, I'll throw it over here. <laughs> okay, you attempt to make, I guess, like a strength check. Or no, okay. would that be athletics it's check? An improvised weapon. <laughs> oh my god, dude! I will count stinking frog as an improvised weapon. Heck yeah! <laughs> yes, please. Twelve to, twelve to get into the pot. Yep, that works. Bloop. You pick him up and you. <laughs> And, and a little oil splashes on Xander's, which is immediately like, ah! but the, the the frog starts screeching in pain as it's starting to boil. You it honestly smells kind of good. It is going to attempt to wiggle its way out of the pot. Uh, it does so. It flops. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I'm going to do that as what would you say? Uh, honestly, uh, what damage would boiling water be? So I would say boiling skin. water is probably just. I'd rule that as like two d six maybe, but yeah, it depends I'm... on what the witch had in there. <laughs> oh, that's true. I didn't think what potion she was boiling. I think it, I, just for the sake of simplicity, it was an earlier stage of a potion, so there wasn't anything effective in it yet. Okay. We're gonna roll one more. Okay. <laughs> I like it. This poor stinking frog. Okay, it is going to try to get out of the pot, which it does. And it kind of yelps and screams as you threw it in the pot and it lands besides the witch. And it kind of looks up at her, like shaking, like, what the heck did we just, what is happening? <laughs> My um, dagger. Did you throw it? I Sorry. threw my first one. Can I throw my second oh, one? Oh, yeah, 100%. Go ahead. Okay, yeah, I'm oh. gonna throw it at the frog. I think that's <laughs> oh, God. Is that an action, though. It, it's no, part I, of I his, don't know if like, you can throw two. It's part of his roguiness, right? He can still yeah, throw it. I thought you could only roll. stab. Anybody muffle. can do it, but. Again, I don't know. No damage added to it. Gotcha, yeah, so just throw it no damage though. It'll just be a added. D4 if it hits. Yep. Um, that does not hit. It, it throws at the frog and its skin is now hardened from where it boiled and it bounces off. <laughs> All right. Next is going to go the witch, and she looks at you all and just. Wait, no, no, no. Now we go in initiative order because that was our surprise round. <laughs> oh, that's right! You guys get to go again. All right, go. Okay. What y'all doing? Are we doing initiative this time? I'm going um, to. No, I want to discuss. No, no, no. Yeah, you guys can discuss. You get one minute. Ready? Fun. Go. I'm gonna go put the frog back in the pot. <laughs> okay. Yeah. While you're doing that, uh, I'm gonna try to trip the witch and grab frog. both my knives back. You're gonna what? Sorry, Bobby. I'm gonna try tripping the witch and grabbing my daggers back. Okay. Um, if she is not like prone or whatever, I'm gonna. Well, even if she is prone, if she's not moving, I'm gonna shoot her again. Oh, I forgot to mention. As soon as you guys entered the hut, the alarm started blaring. But that, yeah. You, That's yeah fine. So we can assume the other witches are coming, right? Or running away. <laughs> no. Okay, I'm going to fly through the window and take a seat, a seat on the bed and then shoot the witch. <laughs> Just to see? Okay. All right. And, uh, Naya, what are you doing? Or Nia? Uh, yeah, said. I'm gonna 
<laughs> Sorry. I think I'm going to actually stay outside okay. and shoot her and watch for if anyone is coming or going or whatever outside the hut. All right, Eli, make your character's turn first. Julio, shoot. shoot. Where's my... There it is. Leave the eggs. That hits. All right. Seven. Uh, They're shooting the, the lady or the frog, right? The lady. Okay. I think I'm going to um, save my action surge. Nia, you go. Okay, I'm also shooting the lady. Oh, I still have my hunter. Yeah, so you can do both. I can do both, yes. Okay. Um... Okay. Hot dang. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. my gosh. And okay. all of that is all of that is force damage, by the way. Okay. Because she's a planar warrior, her arrow turns into a laser beam. Goodness. Yeah, which means it's basically unresistible. Right, it is crazy, actually. All right, that hits her with a just again a force, and she is knocked back against the stove and she like grabs onto it like trying to keep herself propped up all right next <laughs> <Poor witch>. rock <laughs> all right i'm not gonna try to choke her since she's already somewhat prone i'm just gonna i want to do a quick run pass and pick up both my knives during that run pass all right <laughs> um did they get an opportunity because of that they i'm pretty do. sure they, 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 could, they do. Yeah. um as you're running past the uh, frog <laughs> tries to bite at you. It's a 16 hit. If you, if you make it a take damage from hit. a frog bite, I'm going to be so upset. <laughs> it is a 16 hit. It does hit. <laughs> you take four damage from the frog biting you. The frog has uh, teeth, be... I should mention. I was going to say, this must be one of the mythical <laughs> fanged toads. The Goliath the... toad. It has three eyes. I mentioned earlier, but I didn't know if you guys. I didn't catch that. It is okay. not a normal frog. <laughs> it is. The, oh, I should. I did not mention this. It's the size of like a small dog. Jeez. <laughs> He's what? Like a chihuahua. It's a wild oh, frog. It's a wild frog. It's a wild pick up a chihuahua size. <laughs> That's dog like the most important the thing squad. you could have added. <laughs> This guy was not only born ugly, but like he's getting a rough go around after that. <laughs> Does the witch uh, the, the witch also gets to attack? Yes. Okay, I'm just going to. She's gonna make a. She's gonna take out her like long nails and swipe at you and try to grab you. Does a 17 hit? I'm guessing it does. You it take does. 14. Oh, rip. Hey. Oh, I, I was gonna say, is she magical? And then I was like, oh yeah. <laughs> That's like the point. Okay. damage. Who has health potions? <laughs> would you like one? I would, yes, very much, please. Here, wait, I'm outside. I'm gonna throw <laughs> yeah, it to. Gonna... <laughs> Just chuck it off. But you. first, it's Wild's turn. Unless, uh, Rot, you want to do an action or do something in your turn. You still have actions left you can do. Um. Yeah, no. All right, uh, Wild, you're up. You're gonna pick up the frog and throw in the pot? Nah. Howdy ho! I'm going to the witch. <laughs> oh, how's, she looking? how's she looking? Um, she's looking hurt, but not completely bloodied yet. Okay. Um, I would like to. How do I do this in one turn? Um, I would like to rage. Okay. Oh gosh. Oh shoot! I forgot. I forgot about the extra rage damage. I have not been factoring that in. Oh, that's right. I haven't used rage in battle yet. So it's <laughs> not mm -hmm. You just use rage to break things <laughs> and arm wrestle. Hey. All right. Um, I'm going to make this attack reckless, so I get advantage on it. All right. Um, and as I charge forward, adventure calls to the wild. <laughs> and my my hands extend into claws and mm. uh, I'm going to make one attack against the frog and one attack against the witch. I get two. Oh gosh. Okay. Yep. All right. So this is going to be against the witch with advantage. 20 that to hits. hit. Uh, she's going to take 10 points of slashing damage, including the rage. All right. And then uh, the other one against the frog does a 14 hit. 
Um, 14 hits. All right. That is going to be eight points of slashing damage against that frog. More frog. And I would like to grapple the frog as a bonus <laughs> action. Uh, roll. First. Strength? Or... Yeah, Natural right, point. Uh, he, you immediately tackle this poor dog-sized <laughs> frog as he stumbles like, down as you're grabbing him. He's just like... <laughs> <laughs> this poor frog, bro, is just a frog! <laughs> no, so mean to this thing. You boiled it. You fucking boiled it. Okay. Anyway, it's their, it's their turn. I just okay. Die, evil amphibian, die! <laughs> it really is just a frog. <laughs> I mean, it's a weird-looking frog, but it's a frog. It bit oh someone. Gosh. It bit. Um, it it bit, us. That bit me. That the witch cool. immediately looks at you and goes, "How dare you!" And like she... this, I tighten my grip. <laughs> she disappears. Oh no! Oh, no. Um, and more crescent magic of the Feywild. Immediately reappears. Oh, what? And she stands before you, and she moves her hand as the terrain around you starts roots start growing up from the ground inside the hut and all the doors and windows shut closed from the shutters even though the broken windows there were shutters outside and the door seems to lock outside. Yeah, yeah. and from around you spiders start crawling in from the cracks of the floor hey what was the spider thing i got spider. it helped it it helps you have spider climb, which allows you to like climb walls and stuff. It's Spider-Man. Okay, okay, thank you. Sorry, I just forgot about it. Surrounding you all is spiders as they start climbing up your legs and arms and they are surrounding you. Is this only in the house? Yes. Okay. okay. And um, they... Um... What's up? Uh, I'll be... Okay, so... This is an interesting point. Mm-hmm. Wild has one fear. <gasps> oh, I, I am, didn't read. I am frightened. The spiders oh, begin attacking. Yeah, they all do seven damage to each of you. Okay. That negative one hit point. Oh, oh, yes, I'm... Oh, you're downed. I am, I'm downed. Oh, dang. And the uh... big guy scared a spider. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is going to be interesting. Okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> if all of you die, I'm sorry, but I'm actually not. Okay, the dog is grappled and he can't move. The but dog. You being... The dog. <laughs> and it's the frog. The dog. <laughs> if it you was be... the dog, we wouldn't be beating on it like we have. <laughs> I'm guessing even though you're frightened, you're still probably clutching him. Yeah. All right, he tries to get free, which is probably a strength check. Yep. Can you please roll a contesting strength check? Yep, I have advantage on this. Do you not have disadvantage because you're frightened? Only on attack rolls. Ah, uh, thank you. Yeah, yep, no, you win that thing. He is still, you're holding on to him almost in fear and you squeeze him a little bit tighter as he goes, <laughs> <laughs> All right. So there are spiders on me? Yeah. Can I still use my bonus action? Yeah, go ahead, I'll allow it. And what movement I have left? Mm-hmm. Can it's I... difficult terrain now. Okay, I want to just fly off the ground so that they can't reach me. Uh, and you, you can do that. Can I, like, swat the spiders off? Get them all off with my bonus action? Um... Me... Hmm. Are you able to fly through the roof? I probably could. I don't want to do that, Seeing though. as stinking what's-his-face jumped through the roof, probably. <laughs> Um, yeah, I will say I want you to make a check in order to throw them off, and I will allow it to be a bo mm, I don't want it to be a bonus action. I feel like it should be an action to try to get these spiders off of you. But you definitely can fly up. Well, I've already used my action. 
So I'll just fly off the ground. Mm -hmm. Alright, next in the initiative is you. Sorry, I'm reading. Okay, um, I will... You said difficult terrain. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna fly over here. So that should be like, I'll have like half my movement left, I believe. I oh, love that map. Actually, I will not. Um, and I'm just going to shoot the witch again. Okay. 16. That hits. W. Six piercing. When you shoot her, it almost seems like... Like, have you ever seen a road on a hot day? What? <laughs> have you ever seen a road on a hot day and when, like, it looks like there's water on it? Steam? No. Heat waves. Have you heat seen waves. heat waves? Uh, it, it almost seems like a mirage disappears. Oh. <laughs> I think Fine, that witch is fake. <laughs> um. Well, I don't have anything else I can do. I don't want to waste my action surge. Mm, okay, next is Naya. Um, I'm outside, so all I oh, saw, yeah. well, everything just close up, right? Yeah, well, I forgot to do this. We're not, I forgot to, I'm doing it like a normal initiative again. What are you all doing? I forgot to do that. I'm going to give you guys money to discuss on what you guys are going to try to do. Oh. I'm down. Attacking the witch. I'm attacking the witch. I'm attacking the witch. She's fake. I, I told you that. Okay. Yes. I will be, um... Oh, so it's a trap. Break the, go for the door. Yes. I'm going to. Uh, my plan is to put the frog back in the pot, grab this guy, and break through the freaking wall. <laughs> okay. Everyone else, what's Solid. your plan? Uh, Naya, you were going before. Oh, um. I, I don't really know what my character would do if everything just got sealed up. What is it sealed up with? Um, so the windows are sealed up with, like, wooden shutters, and the door just seems to be locked. I think I would run up to it and try to open the window. Um, I would need to make a strength check as soon as you do that. Alright, Rot, you are down. I, I am And And Wild is doing that. Okay, everyone, make so, your rolls. So do you, do you do negative points, or you just go to zero? Um, you just go oh, to zero. Okay. Alright, hold on. Okay. Hold on. When you when you fall to zero hit points, every time it comes to your turn, you have to make a death saving throw. Yes. Mm -hmm. So we're about to get that to you. That, 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 you do that. Right. Everyone else, so I want we'll... you to make your turn first, and then you. I need you to click on your character sheet where it says death save, and click that. Yep. Okay. Um. I'm going to run this way, and drop the frog in the pot. <laughs> you do so. The the frog. Make a strength check for that. Or an acrobatics. Acrobatic or athletics? Yes, athletics, thank you. Get advantage, natural 20. Yep, no, uh, you immediately slam him in the pot. It's like, <laughs> it's, it is, I can't believe this is happening again. It's just, it's wanting to get out so bad. You've never seen more of a terrified look on a creature's face in your entire life. Um, All right. N Nia, you try to open the door. It does not work. Um, Bobby, I need to make a death save. Yeah. Oof. That does not save. Oh. Click one on your character sheet for not saving. All right. Not save failure. <laughs> okay. Um, I grab, I run over here now, and I'm going to grab the elf. Mm -hmm. You're going to try to burst through the window, I'm guessing? I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to jump through the window. I need you to make a strength check. Okay. Uh, this is also with advantage because rage. It's a twenty-one. Yep. No, you burst through the shutter windows. <laughs> Seeing that, I'm going to use the rest of my movement, which is five feet, to move right there. All right. Next, the initiative is. I have the... the elf with me. Oh yeah, yeah. You grab him and take him out. Um, next is the uh, frog, which is going to desperately try to get out of the stove again. <laughs> it doesn't! He tries to slip and climb out of the stove, but he sinks back in as you hear, like, bloop, 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 as the frog does not emerge once again from the pot. 
Um, I'm going to yell to Wild and ask him if he can break this wall down. Like, which one? This wall down that's close to, uh, I forgot his name. <laughs> Rot. Rot. It's like, I can try! Do okay. try! Um, how are you all looking? I'm looking Gucci. I look great. Terrified, but great. Okay. I look covered in spiders. I, fr I really did hit uh, stinking rot with everything. Um, <laughs> yeah, I should have I should have thought about my movements a little bit better. But, yeah. um, on this turn, you guys are... Eli, the spiders are still on you. Oh, did the witch go, though? I don't think she went. That's the thing. She's still not necessarily there. Okay. You don't see her. So she when she went invisible and you broke that thing, she just didn't reappear. Okay. Um. Does a four hit? No. <laughs> um. Wild 17. does a fourteen hit. Nope. Okay. The spiders are desperately trying to bite at your skin, but they are not availing. All right. And then the witch reappears in the center where the table is right here off to the side and she looks directly at you um stinking eli's character Arnock. i'm sorry arnok um she looks directly at you and hi make a wisdom saving throw for me oh wisdom saving throw 13 mm -hmm. that's not bog champ uh what is this against? I should know this. <laughs> that does not. Okay, okay. That does not succeed. You take seven damage, and oh, you have disadvantage on your next attack roll. My next. Next attack roll. <laughs> All right. That is her turn. Next, you guys are going. What are you doing? Okay. Um... Oh, yeah. She's also moving over here to where her pot, other pot is, away from you all. <laughs> so I think my plan is generally going to be, the elf is like bound, right? Yeah, he's tied up. Okay, oh, I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna cut his ropes off. Okay, uh, all you need to do is just take out your uh, knife and slash him or yeah. rip his hands. My claws. Yep. Are Good we conversating? Is, he, uh, why, uh, uh, if you were if you cut the ropes and he got he just runs. That's what we want. <laughs> That's no, the goal. But we, yeah, but what if he knows where the other witches are? Or maybe it's some sort of plan or something or that they're steaming up. He might be When he runs, I run. <laughs> <laughs> we our our only goal here is to free him. Do I see his flute? Um, on the table. Actually, roll. Yeah, roll perception check for me. Oops, almost a performance. Oh, come on. This is you, so sad. You see a building. I see <laughs> a building. Stuff in it. I see a building. <laughs> <laughs> well, my plan is to just run away and take a shot oh, at you... the witch. At the, at the end of my last turn, uh, <laughs> can I make a wisdom save to see if I get over my fear? Real quick. Yeah, a hundred percent. Make a wisdom save. What um, do you roll, DM? I roll that. That does not save. Okay. Because I like this dynamic. <laughs> you are still All covered right. in spiders, so. <laughs> that is true. Um, what should I call it? Uh, you guys are going next, Eli. What, or everyone, what do you want to do? You, your plan is to run out the window. You can everyone, go ahead, okay. Wild. Yep, everyone just go what you're doing because I got distracted. Everyone do what you were going to do. Luke, you can go first. Me? Yeah. All you're doing oh, is cutting okay. the elf. Um, yeah, I'll go last. Okay, so because I get... Uh... Am I still in this? <laughs> I mean, oh, yeah. the well, building's like covered around. up. I want to make sure that there's no, no... Like, that the alarm didn't call the other witches there. Um, as you are looking around in the forest over here, hold on. Oh, I dragged it off the map, please. Oh my gosh. <laughs> over uh -oh. here. 
you all see a witch slowly basically scouting out the situation. It doesn't look like she's running towards you all. She's looking at what is happening. Would she be able to get there in 12 seconds? I don't think so. Because this has been 12 seconds. <laughs> uh, it more looks like she's scouting about, but I will move her closer. What? On towards this cliff side. Oh, that's not what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? I mean, since the alarm went off, it has been 12 seconds. Oh, you right. No, she, <laughs> she, she is not running towards you all, and she's not there either. I forget she exists. I will. <laughs> all right, Nina, you're, you're looking around. You Nia. don't see any. Nia. Nia. Hey, Nia. Nina. 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 She is a little girl in Spanish. <laughs> Nia, you look around and you're not seeing any immediate witches running towards you. You see a bunch of wildlife just really running from this spot. Like they're all running and scattering in different directions. That's all you um, see. Do I hear the crash of... Yes, um, of if you're talking about wild jump through the window, yes. Yeah, yeah, the window, the door, whatever. Okay, then I'm gonna go over there. All right. Um, let me figure. That'll be your movement, so you can move about thirty feet. Okay, let me figure out how to work this map. So using your movement, you can get to about right here. Okay. Okay. Like right about there. How do I move her? Ooh, that's not how. Just, yeah, just Alright, next will be Rot, which I need you to make a death save again. And then you can um, make the move another 30 feet using your action to get over here. Okay, oh. that's what I want oh. to do. Oh. Roll a failure on it, please. Yeah. Oof. Look over here by you. I don't want to die. Uh, okay, Wild. No. Are you just cutting the spawn? Please. What? What potion? The Haley potion? Yeah, okay, I give it to you. Okay. Can I take my turn? Yep, go ahead. Alright, using my first claw attack, I want to rip the bindings off of this guy. Yep. Using my second attack, mm -hmm. I'm going to jump back, I'm going to cross myself, cry a little bit, and jump back <laughs> into the spiders. Uh -huh. You're going back in? Required That's not what I, I run, meant. <laughs> I run over here and using my other attack, I dump the healing potion in his mouth. Yep, no, you dump it in and um, roll a four D two D four plus two. He recovers eight health and is brought back. You hear him gasp as life immediately comes back to his lungs. Well, not life, he was just unconscious, I guess, at this point. <laughs> and then, oh, I my, are you are you going to allow me to um, then stand to my feet, look at the circumstances, and scream out, I want to make a strength intimidation check. <laughs> are you saying that? Is your character saying it? Yes, you can. Nonetheless, you can. Hey. Um, wild! <laughs> <laughs> I scream. Uh, so I have event, or I have, I do not have proficiency in intimidation, but it's going to be basically just a strength check. Ten. Ah, uh, that does not succeed. All right. Sash. Can I make a wisdom save? Yes, <laughs> you can. <laughs> no, nope. oh. not succeed. All right. Okay. I'm just crying. I am going to shoot the witch. Gun. Uh, yep. Uh, that doesn't hit. I'm sorry. I so miss by a mile. Eli, your stream is just black. Oh, there it is. Yeah, whenever I click off, it goes black. Uh, all right. Is it still Once... difficult to rain? Oh, I, uh, I have eight hit points from that. After potion. the last turn, it wasn't. The typical terrain went away. Sorry, I should have mentioned. Yeah, you do have eight hit points. Okay. okay. I... wait, it is or isn't? Sorry. Isn't. You are no longer in difficult terrain. I really don't know if I should save my action surge or not. I don't know if the witches are going to try you and fight us. Dang it. <laughs> okay, I'm going to run over here. And I'm, I'm going to use my action surge. And I'm going to shoot again. Wait. 17. And that 11 piercing damage. Hits. 
Yep. Sheely's looking very bloodied. Okay. <laughs> she looks very hurt. At this point, she's almost like leaning over, like looking at you guys with such hatred, but fear in her eyes. Was the death um, save my entire turn? Yes. You, okay. Yeah. Sag. Does a 22 hit you all? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you all take one damage. Uh, the spider's <laughs> biting Ow. you with the teeth are very much. And you go, oh, no. Wait, no, no, no. You guys take one damage. Oh, God. <laughs> 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 All right, um, the witch is going to look around, understand what is happening. The doors and windows spring open as she bolts out this window, bro. She don't want to be here anymore. <laughs> and she's attempting to run away. Um, may I use my bonus action? Oh, wait, it's action surge. It is not. May I use my bonus action? Yeah. I'm just going to use a uh, second wind. It just heals me. It is. And so I get healed 14 hit points. Oh, gosh. Yep. You take those hit points. All right. Thank you. At this point, she's running away. What do you all want to do? Run out the house. <laughs> run I out of the house. I want to run after them, too. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm out the house. I want to kill At the point, the window witch. next to you, the window right here. Is open too. The shutters on it have been opened. Okay, yeah, I'm going that way. I want to um, kill the witches. <laughs> Actually, you know, just for the sake of everything, I say she has less movement because of how hurt she is. So she managed to get out of the house, which actually I need to make a check on that. Hold on. No, she don't get out of the house. <laughs> 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 she in the house still. <laughs> All right, what are you guys doing? Are you attacking her? Or are you running oh, out? She's still in the out? house. I want to she's put her in the, the pot. The <laughs> <laughs> okay. one she's nearest to is big enough to find. <laughs> oh my god. All right, make a strength check. A raw strength check. All right. Still raging. Okay. Uh, just strength, not athletics? Yeah. Uh, Either one. You get to choose. That is a 23. <laughs> Alright, she desperately wiggles like what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? as you pick her up like a stinking ragdoll and set her into the pot as you see her flesh start boiling as she's sitting in there. <laughs> and she sinks into the pot and after a while you see her eyes just roll back at her head as she sinks lower and lower into the pot till you cannot see her anymore. Cool. Let's run away uh, now. You don't want to hunt the witches now? No, I want to leave before I'm, more I'm spiders gonna, arrive. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm just gonna jump out the window there. Mm -hmm. You can walk out the door at this point. Um, look, very wild. Yeah, I'm. I'm, I'm out. I'm Audi. Goodness gracious! All right. I'm gonna pat you... the spiders off of me. Yep. You successfully, you all, so we're going to be out of combat now. You all successfully wiggled it off the spiders, off of you. Um, uh, stinking, hold on, me right. I need a health potion. <laughs> you still, I appreciate sure you guys still have a few left. Um, Nia has them all. <laughs> you need How many were there? Potion. Eight Six. points, not enough for eight, fine. <laughs> I give it to him. All right, what do I roll for the health potion? Uh, 2d4 you do... plus four, two. Yep. What's that? 2d4 plus two. Oh, Dang. Sure. Nice. Max heals. So 12. N no. Oh, wait, no, it's plus two. Sorry, <laughs> shut up, Sarah. It's fine. I, I, I got this. I read yeah, the base number and then added two. Four four equals yeah. ten. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, are you... At this point, Zendayers... Zan Zalander... His name has changed so much. Zalanders 
looks at you all and just, thank you, I can't tell you how long I've been stuck in that stinking, rotting, disgusting, your fluid smelling at? head. You don't hey, know. Hey, hey, stop, me. stop. I'm stop sh sh no, shut up. Shut up. I shut need up. to talk. Shut, shut up. Where's your fluid at? This is probably the drawer somewhere in there. I don't know. Okay, I kind of kind of go look for the flute because like yeah, the people don't care about this guy; they just care about the flute. <laughs> and I say that out loud. <laughs> Bro, that's horrible. You don't understand what I've been through. Twenty. <laughs> uh, yeah, you find it in a drawer, and you also find um, forty-three silver pieces and twelve copper. Hey yo. Well. Um. Forty-three. I thank you guys so much. It's honestly been traumatizing. You don't understand what I've been through. I had to smell that stinking stink all day and she kept punching me and it was awful. Okay. Did, did, did Queen really sit cares. on me? No. <laughs> <laughs> How much copper did you say? Um, 12. <laughs> okay. Oh, wait. Okay. Oh, all I right. guess we can get going. Once you all have freed the Zalanders, you and him make your way back to the green court. Good other witches. Okay. I mean, you I say that to myself while we're walking. <laughs> <laughs> you enter the green court, and Cleese Sylvia looks at you and smiles. Welcome back. I knew you would bring him back. You looked very well, let's say, qualified. And Zalanders, it is good to see you. Clean Sylvia! You don't understand what I've been through. He runs up and like hugs her as she kind of like stiffens and like tries to like gently like just push him away as like her no, snot is getting on her. I can see. <sighs> I'm yes, yes. doing a dramatic bow. Can we I... obtained the thing that you. Uh, you, the quest has been completed, your royal self. Sir. Yes. Let's go get your hot bath. Please. He boiled the witch oh, alive. Oh, like there's spiders on me. Oh, that's <laughs> awesome. Um, I uh, will be good on my deal, and I will release the spell on Elsie. And oh, as... right. There was a point to all that. <laughs> <laughs> And um, as per our agreement to the young fellow here, here is a violet gem. And if you get this appraised, it's worth about 25 gold. Do you- Much appreciated. Do you all have a way to return home? Why am I turning into Zeno? And I, I point, I point to uh, Nia. I have a trans- teleportation scroll? Transportation scroll something. Teleportation. <laughs> Will it be able to fit all of you? I don't know. I haven't looked at it. Do I have to look at it? Is that a thing I do? Yep. Go ahead and look <laughs> at it. Yeah, I'll look at it. And as you unfurl the scroll, you realize it is not, in fact, a teleportation scroll, but a very unmagical shopping list. Bro. Oh no. That's fine. Nia, remember that one time we went into the Underdark? You found the portal all by yourself. You have the power. The power. <laughs> oh yeah, I could probably find one. Uh, can I try and hide this, like, walk away a little bit, and can I look at the flute and see if it's magical at all? Um, see if it's anything other than just a basic flute. Uh, it has the uh, yeah. Go ahead and try to do an invest investigation. I think that's Arcana. In Oh, yeah, 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 thank you. And I, I have a worse Archon. Oh, wait, actually, I don't want to sing. No. Nah. Doesn't nah, seem nah. magical. Uh, you can tell there's slight magic to it. You don't know the exact extent of it, though. You can tell it is magical. Do I know if I could get a good price for it? Probably. Like, a couple gold, or? Yeah, at least a couple gold. At least a handful of gold. Eh. I'll just, I'll just give it to her. A couple gold isn't worth stealing from a fave Careful, queen. Your Cyrus is going. <laughs> hey, this guy's meant to be a bounty hunter, okay? <laughs> so I'll just hand it over to her. Thank you. In return, I will give you this. And she hands you a uh, uh, sapphire-looking gem, and if you get appraised, it'll probably be worth about 10 gold. Ooh. Definitely not worth the... Uh... Stealing from a fake queen. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna 
do the thing where I close my eyes and try to sense a portal. It has been a pleasure making a deal with you all, and I do bid you farewell. And if you ever have an opportunity to come back to the Feywild, please do visit us. Elsie! And the little girl, like, sits up and walks over and she goes, Yeah? You are going with them now. And she waves her hand and Elsie, <laughs> her face looks confused. <laughs> and she immediately runs to you all. You are going with them now. <laughs> <laughs> You're going with them now. Um, and Elsie kind of, she looks around and clings to Nia. You live with these people now. My eyes are now. closed and I'm trying to figure out where it is. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, my eyes shoot open. I look, down, look at her. I probably not down at her that much. And then I close my eyes again. Farewell, thou majestic Sir. majesty. Yes. <laughs> I'm trying. Sorry. I it bow with appreciate. him every time he does anything like this. <laughs> <laughs> like, thank I'm just you, joining you. in with him. <laughs> thank you, but your he yelling is giving me a headache. I think I'm going to lay down. Oh gosh, this has been such a day. <laughs> what did you do today? You didn't kill a witch? <laughs> You didn't, get, am, you didn't get dozens of spiders on you? This is very you? disrespectful. I am a queen of the Feywild. My job is very important, I'll have you know. I have to eat cake. <laughs> <laughs> yes, giving those gems to us must have been very it headache was. worthy. You can't tell, I can't tell you how exhausted it is to talk to you all. It's fine. <laughs> Goodbye. I, I wipe off my, fa my magic face paint. <laughs> yeah, you've been a clown this entire time. And, and I put it on her. <laughs> what 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 are you doing? Behold, this symbolizes majesty. Which where you're from it does? And I am giving it to you. I won this in a contest of strength <laughs> at a grand <laughs> festival. I will take it as an honor, and for this gift, I will knight you. A knight of the Feywild. I am now Sir Captain Wild. That you are. What a noble title indeed. Let us return with honor. Um. Okay, what check would she make? Is that an arcana check to find a portal? I'm guessing it would be. No, she can just sense portals. Oh, so. <laughs> That's something she can just do. Um. They, you sense a portal basically to the left of the throne about... Let's give or take a hundred feet. Okay. Okay, so I walk over to it. And as you walk over to it, you see a tree where in the center of it is kind of split it apart, and in the center you see a swirling portal. Okay, so I just tell everyone, it's through here. Let's all walk through at the same time, so we don't end up on the other side several months apart. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to give the little girl the little uh, wand that I won. I have Aww. no use for that. Is she still, like, attached to me? Yeah, I she's kind of holding on to you. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Um, and as you guys enter the portal, you feel the unearthly magic slowly leave you. And you're once again swirling through time and space in a dark void of nothingness. But when you open your eyes, you're once again on the stage where you first went through the portal. It seems if only a few seconds have passed since you left the magician's tent. The crowd stands to their feet in wild applause. That was insane! Look what he did! They disappeared and reappeared! It was only a few seconds and now they have I, her! I take a bow. <laughs> I bow with them. As I'm do, confused. <laughs> as they do, all of them stand to their feet and are wildly applying. The claps go louder and louder and they start cheering. No! I walk up to the, I walk up to the performer. Where mm -hmm. is my money? <laughs> oh, hold on, young sir. As you can see, my wonderful magic has done all of this. The seconds they were gone and when they were back, praise for me. Me and Rod and are it... just covered in blood. <laughs> I'm pulling a knife and pointing it to his throat. Oh, oh, okay. This is a little excessive, don't you think? <laughs> I feel like you need to be possessed by a hat. <laughs> <laughs> Do not mention hats to anyone me or me and my family we have a horrible history with it i'm sorry you don't understand do you That's also the worst thing you could have said do you also hate sand for any reason 
<laughs> Here, here's your gold, here's your gold. And he hands you ten gold pieces. Ten each? Each. Yeah, fine. Each. Fine. fine. Wait, no, you said eleven to me. Okay, here's eleven. Are you trying to just, lie to me? Just don't talk I want, about that. I want to imagine that this is where the camera pans away and like goes up into the sky and the credits yep. roll. Yep. <laughs> That was fun, guys. Stop recording.